Voodoo Woman is a 1957 horror film directed by Edward L. Kahn. The film stars Marla English, Tom Conway, and Mike Connors. It was released by American International Pictures as a double feature with The Undead. A pair of treasure hunters, which includes the beautiful but ruthless Marilyn Blanchett, played by Marla English, discover gold in the voodoo idol of a tribe of the African jungle. Hoping to find more such treasures, they con the innocent Ted Bronson, played by Mike Connors, into acting as a jungle guide and leading them to the tribe that made the idol. Meanwhile, Dr. Roland Gerard, played by Tom Conway, a mad scientist who has exiled himself deep in the same jungle, is using a combination of native voodoo in his own biochemical discoveries in an attempt to create a superhuman being. He hopes that this being, possessing the best of man and beast, will be the mother of a new perfect and deathless race which he will control with a mixture of hypnosis and telepathy. He is accompanied by his wife Susan, played by Mary Ellen Kay, who has long since disavowed her husband but remains trapped by her husband and the natives. Dr. Gerard's initial attempts to create a female super being are a failure because the transformation is only temporary and the native girl used as the subject of the experiment lacks the killer instinct he deems necessary for survival. However, when he stumbles upon the party of treasure hunters, he decides that Marilyn will be a perfect subject for his experiment. He successfully turns her into an invulnerable monster, but her inherent selfishness and greed outweigh his mental control over her and she turns on him. Ted and Susan are able to escape in the ensuing chaos. The original makeup design for the Buddha woman was deemed unsuitable at the last minute and the title monster is actually the she-creature costume, hurriedly stripped of its tail fins and pincer-like claws. What remained was the bulky, thing-style body, which was wrapped in a burlap serang and topped with a modified skull mask and big blonde wig. Khan worked actively to conceal this fact, using quick cuts and keeping her mostly in shadows or behind foliage. The rumbling growl of a lion was also dubbed for added effect. So check out this cult classic horror film on DVD or streaming, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.